Warning! This video contains spoilers for Venom, The Last Dance. In The Last Dance, Venom makes the ultimate sacrifice. To save Earth from the Xenophages and destroy the Codex, Venom drags the creatures beneath an acid shower at Area 51. As Rex Strickland aids him, Venom ejects Eddie Brock, ensuring his survival while sacrificing himself. The battle against the Xenophages claims the lives of many symbiotes and their hosts. Notably, Lasher and Phage perish, along with their hosts. Sadie Christmas survives, despite losing her symbiote. The film features various symbiotes, but only Agony, bonded with Dr. Payne, survives the ordeal. Rex Strickland, played by Chiwetel Ejiofor, sacrifices himself in a heroic act. Caught in the acid rain, he detonates a grenade, aiding Venom in defeating the Xenophages. This marks a noble end for Strickland, who had been an antagonist earlier in the film. Toxin, bonded with Patrick Mulligan, faces a xenophage to allow Eddie and Venom to escape. Despite their efforts, both Toxin and Mulligan are killed, marking the first casualty among the symbiotes in the film. Eddie Brock's conscience is tested when he kills a soldier in self-defense. This act, though not heavily emphasized, marks Eddie's first kill in the Venom trilogy, adding a layer of complexity to his character. Dr. Payne, portrayed by Juno Temple, is haunted by her brother's death. Struck by lightning during a storm, his death leaves Payne with scars and a dream to work among the stars, setting up her transition into the symbiote agony. The final battle is brutal, with numerous soldiers falling to the Xenophages. As the creatures pursue Eddie, Venom, and the Codex, the human forces suffer heavy casualties in their defense. Despite the losses, Eddie Brock survives, visiting the Statue of Liberty in Venom's honor. Agony, bonded with Dr. Payne, also survives, hinting at future stories. Sadie Christmas and Mrs. Chen are among the lucky survivors, while Gnoll remains imprisoned, setting up potential sequels.